So Ha feels devastated as he just found out about Doyin's father. He meets Jiyum in front of his house, and the two will drink together. Meanwhile, Doyun will go to see Cho Won. Cho Won always calls Doyun while drinking. However, this time it's not Cho Won who needs help, but Doyun. It seems he accidentally took Cho Won's glass and got drunk from it. Doyun could pass out with just a sip of alcohol. A drunken Doyun will tell the truth about his feelings to Cho Won. That he likes her. And he will kiss her because Cho Won kissed him before when she was drunk, but she can't remember it. However, because of Doyun's words, Cho Won will remember about it. Also about Doyun saying that he likes her when she was drunk at that time. The next day, Doyun will regain his memory after Cho Won asks about his condition after being drunk. Ever since he has told the truth about his feelings, Cho Won will look different in his eyes. He can only see Cho Won. However, he will keep denying his feelings and will reject Cho Won's confession because of his past experiences with rich people. Meanwhile Ji Yum is talking to Min Ki. He had been waiting for her. He finally tells the truth that they met before in their past life, and he also remembers his past life like Ji Yum. Of course Ji Yum won't believe it until Min Ki says the keyword that he discussed before with Ji Yum in their past life. So he showed this out to her as it would help her to know why she was remembering her past life. It all started in ji first life, and that's the reason she keeps on remembering her past life. She needs to find something from her first life to break the curse, so she can stop remembering her past life. That something has to do with Doyun. She will get glimpses of her past memories when she was with Doyun. ji will talk to Doyun about her past life as ju Won. Doyun doesn't believe her words. So Ji Yoon will prove that she is Ju Won by telling him about the box that So Ha has. So Ha got the box from Ju Won on his birthday before the car accident. Doyun is surprised to hear that because the only people who know about the box are So Ha and himself. To back up her claim, Ji Yoon tells Doyun about where she put the key to the box. Meanwhile, So Ha is going to his family gathering. But he couldn't stand his family and decided to leave first. Since he can't reach Doyun and he needs to get back, he'll call Ji Yoon for help. Ji Yoon will come to pick him up and decides to confess her feelings to So Ha. Here, So Ha will kiss Ji Yoon. Based on Ji Yoon's clothes, she will also enter So Ha's house. She hugged him after she saw the mess in So Ha's house. Which means So Ha had a hard time after he found out that the accident wasn't a simple hit and run. While meeting Doyun's father, So Ha will get a call about the creditor boss. So Ha won't be able to get information about his accident from the creditor boss because someone harmed him to silence him after So Ha tried to find the truth. In my opinion, he is the culprit behind the accident, and Mr. Eam is under So Ha's father to keep an eye on So Ha and also find the person behind his son's accident. It has been told that Mr. Eam was from the Agency for National Security Planning. In the end So Ha will get the information regarding his accident that someone from his family is trying to harm him. Without thinking much, he would meet his father to talk about it. He thought his father was the one behind the accident. But his father was not the culprit. He knows who the culprit is, but he hides it. His father would ask him to stop searching for the truth. That's why So Ha said, we at least need to know who killed her. So So Ha will continue to find out the truth about the accident. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.